All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Working on a brand new 2024 Chevy Silverado today. I have driven two and a half hours to get here. I'm in Deltona, Florida, which is kind of by Daytona. Um, so the job took me two and a half hours away from Tampa to do this very nice truck. So here I am. And so it is getting two products that are specifically designed to be able to use in the sun. This is gonna get my One Step Sundays polish. That is my, it's a, it's a compound and a polish in one, but it's oil-based, so it's designed to be used in direct sunlight without drying up or creating any kind of dust or weirdness that's hard to remove this stuff removes like butter no matter how long you leave it on the surface and um it cuts awesome and finishes awesomer <laughs> so anyway that's brand new for 2024 and i'm going to be using the one the sunday's uh one step polish on the paint first after that, I'll wipe everything down with Amplify Prep Solution, which is my prep solution that removes polishing oils and waxes and sealants that are left behind. It'll remove that, but it also leaves a priming catalyst, which will allow you to get about 30, up to 30% more longevity and durability out of your protective product. So right after the Sundays and then the Amplify Prep Solution, we are then going to apply, well, I say we, it's only me. Uh, I'm then going to apply Elite Master Coat Fast 5, which is my ceramic coating that is doable in direct sunlight. So that's what we're doing today. So let me show you what's going on. All right. So if you look in the sun, you will see there are some swirl marks. It is definitely not bad, but we've got a couple of transfer from doors already. Um kind of see the swirls and stuff up here it's it's not bad it's, you know they're definitely light and whatnot but definitely needs to be polished um he's got one little paint chip i noticed right there already if you just look where the uh, sun is you can see it's got a little some water spots a little bit of haze and some swirls not too bad um I removed the dealer sticker from the back. It was right here. That's gone. I just used some Infinite Purpose Cleaner to remove it. Um, got everything clean and clay barred. So this is kind of where we're at now. I used Infinite Use Detail Juice. Um, I used Ghost. I used Ghost Rinseless Wash to wash this whole thing uh, because I'm going to be polishing it. So as far as the rinseless solution. It was Ghost on this one. Ghost is highly lubricating and it does a great job of cleaning, but it doesn't leave any residue behind for protection that you've then got to fight to remove prior to polishing. You can see a little bit better how those swirl marks look on that pillar there. But again, not horrible. Um, I will do a tape line probably on that rear door or better yet probably do it on this bed section and then uh, I'm gonna use Sundays I told you and I'll definitely be using my DeWalt 15 millimeter throw DA that thing's amazing I absolutely love it and uh, I'm gonna get to work I can waste any time I got the wheels and tires all clean barrels all clean uh, the fast five ceramic coating is going to go on pretty much all the exterior surfaces including the wheel faces and the glass paint chrome trim all of that so i'm on it i'll bring you back when i've got some more done all right so just did a little test spot um i actually i this is the bottle i usually use but i this morning before i came here i grabbed a one ounce bottle and filled it um with sundays uh, this is some of the pre-production stuff that I have and well that's one ounce I just used a little bit right here you can see I didn't wipe it off yet um, and I'm, I'm specifically 
jibber jabbering right now to show you it is in direct sunlight it is literally 82 degrees today and i'm going to show you how easy that wipes off in direct sunlight so i just did my cycle um just remember uh this particular product is more concentrated than any other polish that i've ever used so this one ounce is more than enough to do this entire full-size crew cab truck in direct sunlight no problem at all so this has been sitting here for at least i don't know i responded to three text messages and a couple emails and then called my wife before i grabbed the phone to video this and that was all after um i polished that section so now we're a minute and a half into this video so this is probably a total of five minutes after and i'll show you just real quick you can see the polish look at this no effort at all <laughs> sundays detailjuice.com get you some look at that awesome just a swipe we can just, I can do this all day. Just sit here and just let it sit. In fact, all right, you see what's left there? I'm literally going to go ahead and finish the truck. I'm gonna leave that sitting there and I'll bring you back when I'm done with the rest of the truck to show you how easy that is to get off even when it sits for, I don't know, at least an hour. I'm just doing a one step. I do three passes for a section pass so i literally put the polish on the pad i put the face of the pad on the surface rub it around a little bit and then i turn it on so i do one side to side one up and down and one more side to side and that's a section pass then i wipe it off so but whew, god you can see that gloss look at that gloss all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh get all up on it and we're going to leave that there and we'll bring you back to see the removal after i finish the truck all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i have polished this entire truck now we are back to this rear section see hasn't changed since you saw it last and it's been just over an hour check this out Boop. look no effort just a quick wipe. Does your polish do this? Nope. I know it doesn't because I bought and tested everybody's stuff. That finish is also pretty amazing, but look at that finish. So as I, I shot a different video on this little section that I polished with the brand new Sundays Ultra Finishing Polish. Now it takes... It, as far as the sun days go, that's more of a hybrid compound that cuts crazy awesome and finishes really nice. But on some softer paints, you'll find that a better finish can be achieved. And so that's where the brand new sun days ultra finishing polish comes into play. And yes, you can use it in direct sunlight, just like the regular sun days, but this stuff, I don't know if you can tell, this looks brighter and redder to me than that back there. You, it's obvious in person. I don't know if you can see by camera. I also used a finishing, or I, I'm sorry, a medium cutting pad, not a finishing pad with this. So I will be doing a promo soon on the Ultra Finishing Sundays. Um, but this was a uh, demo of the regular Sundays and how easy it is to wipe off in direct sunlight on a hot day in florida yada 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 there you have it i'm moving right along gonna get this detail done uh as soon as i'm done with this side of the bed i've still got to do that back section pull the tape do under there uh i am going to be then applying the uh emc elite master coat fast five that is my ceramic coating that was designed to be applied in direct sunlight it's awesome. All right, I'll bring you back when I got more done. Okay, before I 
move forward on applying the Elite Master Coat Fast 5 ceramic to this truck, I want to show you guys how little polish I used to polish the entire truck. The roof, the hood, the front end, the tailgate, all of it. Look at this. Can you see in the light? This is a one ounce bottle. I used literally, that looks to be about one third of the bottle. So from about right where my nail is to there, you can see it. That's all the polish I used to one step this entire truck. Get you some Sundays, detailjuice.com. All right, boys and girls, she's all done. This thing looks incredible. I dressed the tires with Dress to Impress, the diluted 50-50. Uh, um, as I explained the process already, I'll go ahead and run you through it one more time. I washed everything with Ghost Rinseless Wash. Ghost allows you to get awesome rinseless wash done without having to worry about fighting the protective product in most rinseless washes. So for example, infinite use detail juice would have been fine because there's very little protection in there, but there is still some polymer protection that gets left behind. And you basically need to remove that before you polish or before you put on a protective product. So just taking that out of the mix altogether saves you time essentially. So that's kind of where we're at. So ghost rinseless wash. I used my white ultra fine grade Japanese clay bar to decontaminate the paint which it wasn't definitely wasn't bad um, after that I made sure all the nooks and crannies were dry and then I polished with the brand new Sundays um, there is a brand new Sundays ultra finish uh, so the Sundays is probably gonna get some kind of surname like Sundays ultra uh, and then we'll do ultra finish. And then, so after the Sundays situation, I saw a high spot right there. After the Sundays situation, I then wiped everything down with Amplify Prep Solution. Like I mentioned already, Amplify actually extends the life and durability of your protective products up to 30% longer than the protective product alone. So pretty awesome stuff. I apply, I then after Amplify, and you just wipe it down with that. You just literally wipe everything down. And then after that is dry off the surface, you're gonna come back with the Elite Master Coat Fast 5 ceramic coating, and then the Sundays polishes and the Fast 5 ceramic are usable in direct sunlight. Pretty awesome stuff. So this whole thing got Elite Master Coat Fast 5 ceramic on all the paint, the grill, the bumpers, all the chrome, all the black plastic trim, the running boards, the wheel faces also got it. I did not do the barrels because uh, I can't really get in there on all of them. And this package comes with just the face of the wheels done. I also did all the glass. All the trim and the tailgate back here. Um, one thing I like to do with ceramic coat, the camera lenses the reason I like to do that is because here in Florida in the winter time it's not super cold but when we get up and get out of the house in the morning a lot of times there's dew on the paint and all over everything and specifically on your camera lenses and so one of the things that I do to combat that um, condensation on your camera where you can't see through it to back up properly is I put the ceramic coating on there and I've noticed that when I ceramic coat these cameras, you don't get that condensation. So in the morning when you leave your house, you can still see 
out the camera. So it definitely adds some benefit and it keeps rainwater from accumulating on there and that kind of thing. So you can always use your camera. So that's the positive situation. Um, my coating Fast 5 has a booster that you can use if you want. You don't have to. It will extend the life of the coating for sure. And in fact, it will make the coating last indefinitely if you use Slick AF to maintain it. That is my strongest spray coating at detailjuice.com. And as the name suggests, it is Slick AF. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for listening to me babble and watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time. If you've got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. This has been a 2024 Chevy Silverado detail, polish, one-step polish and ceramic coating in direct sunlight on an 85 degree day in Deltona, Florida. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about all my products, my processes and what I've got going on. Uh, if you wanna get in there and learn more about detailing and you know some other things you're not going to learn in these other groups check it out and my cell is 813-846-4406 if you'd like to hire me for a detail or if you got any questions about product process or whatever thanks for watching guys have a great day